What's up guys? Today we're going to go over on how to control multiple servos uh, with the Raspberry Pi relatively easily using a 16 channel PWM slash servo controller. So the main reason you want to do this is if you have a certain project which requires a lot of servo to be controlled, you don't really want to hook it up to the GPIO pins because it causes a lot of stress on the board and also you're limited in the the number of servos that you can utilize with the Pi. So this sort of extends the functionality to accept up to 16 different different servos. So the main things that you're gonna need for this build is a dedicated power supply. So here we have a nine volt battery pack and then you're gonna need a stock Raspberry Pi it could be a Pi Zero or Pi Three, whichever Pi doesn't really matter. You're gonna need five female to female jumper cables, and for the servos I have on hand right now are two nine gram servos, but really you can use any sort of servos you have on hand. So this tutorial is gonna be based heavily on Adafruit's um, tutorial to to interact with the 16 bit channel servo driver. I'll leave a link in the description for all of these components and also uh, a reference link to the original tutorial that I'm closely following here because we're essentially after we hook it up we're going to use their library to easily control and manipulate um, servos. So yeah with, with all that said let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing we want to do is start wiring up the PWM servo controller. So what we're going to do here is we have four cables that we need to hook up and for the sake of making everything easy I'm just going to split these cables real quick so we can sort of color code somewhat. So the first thing we need to do is hook up ground. So the ground over here is on the right most side of this board. And then this goes straight to the ground on the Pi. So I believe that's the third pin right here. So that's hooked up. And then let's go ahead and hook up power. So we're going to look for the VCC on the board. It's on the left side. I think it's the second to the left. So right here we hook VCC up to the 5 volt GPIO pin. Or is that 3? 3.3. Oh, I'm sorry. That's a 3.3 volt pin on the Pi. So there we go. And then we have two more cables to hook up. So I have a brown jumper wire here. We're gonna hook that up to the SD, SDA pin. So if you look on the board, it should be named for you. You have SCL and SDA. So look for the SDA GPIO pin and hook that up on the board. And that is the second pin right next to this power, the power we previously hooked up. And finally we have the SCL pin which is right next to the SDA. So that goes on the right side of the SDA pin? Yeah, it's the SDA. So the reason why we have to use these certain like pins is because we're going to use the I2C interface to interact with this board. Now that we can go ahead and quickly verify that we have the four GPIO pins correctly pinned out, let's go ahead and hook up the power to uh, the, p the servo driver here. So this driver is pretty variable in the input it accepts I believe it's anywhere from like 9 to 12 volts but don't you know take my word for it I'm doing the exact numbers off the top of my head but essentially we're just gonna feed it uh, ground and like power essentially we're gonna feed it this uh, we're just gonna hook it up right here with a small screwdriver set
So we want to just crack these open real quick. Oh, looks like I have the wrong bit there. Really small. Flathead screwdriver for this board. Just going to loosen those up. I just put a bit of electrical tape on the end of these so that way I just make sure they don't short out. It's really unnecessary though. So now that we have it, ho it hooked up, let's go ahead and time it, it down. So let's get it there. So as you can see on this particular set up I have uh, these DC jacks so um, now it's ready to easily you know plug in the power there but for now let's leave it unplugged so now that we have the GPIOs hooked up and the power hooked up as well it's time to hook up these servos so something interesting to note about these servos is usually there's these three wires you need to be careful of the correct um, orientation because on the board you'll see ground power and the input or whatever the PWM signal so we're gonna start from the side closest to the GPIO jumpers that we hooked up so um, they're labeled here so let's start at zero and we want to make sure that the I believe the Brown is ground. You're going to have to check with the server. Usually it's either orange, red, um, brown, or red, white, and black. So yeah, I'm pretty sure that the orange refers to the PWM signal. So this is the way you'd hook it up. So that controls one servo here that's already set up. And then we do the same thing with the second servo. Hook that up right there. So that's pretty much it. As far as wiring goes, you're pretty good to go. So you got the Pi hooked up to the, the board, hooked up to the servos. And now we can pop on to the terminal and try to get the Raspberry Pi configured and working with the Pi. So let's move over there. Okay, so now I've just SSH'd into my Pi. It's essentially factory right now. Um, so you can head over to that site posted down the link and follow the tutorials that are given here. It's pretty straightforward, but I'm just gonna run through real quick and help you get it set up. So the first thing you wanna do is sort of make sure that I2C is enabled so you do sudo raspy dash config and hit enter and that brings you into here we're going to go to advanced options or is it interfacing options there we go interfacing options and we want to make sure this right here is enabled the i2c and just move over and hit yes. Make sure it's enabled. You'll get this message and hit OK. So now that that's good, go ahead and finish this out. And we'll present it back to this terminal screen. So the next thing you need to do is follow the steps on the Adafruit tutorial. So you're going to do sudo, sudo apt get install python sm bus enter should download and install that good to go there sudo apt get install i2c tools so 
now we're gonna just check to see if everything's good to go if it detects the servo controller so we're gonna type sudo i2c detect oh just to know I'm using Raspberry Pi 3 dash y1 and you can see here that it shows 40 and 70 and it shows like this weird sort of table structure if you see this output you know that everything's set up and it's actually detecting the border it's working so now we can move forward and go ahead and get the library installed we've already hooked it up so you can skip that portion in the tutorial so now we're going to download the Adafruit library so to do that we're just going to do a sudo apt get install git build Gonna download that git project or dependency list. I don't know what it's doing actually. Okay, now that that's done, we want to verify we're in the home directory, so just type pwd. So we're good to go there, and go ahead and initiate the git clone command. So git clone, I'm also just going to copy and paste it. It's a really long URL, essentially. So just copy and paste this and hit enter. And now we can type ls and cd to the Adafruit, Adafruit library or directory. And once you change directories, um, you're gonna run up, you wanna run this, the Python setup. So you're gonna do sudo Python So now you should be good. Um, you have the library installed, everything's hooked up. Now we can go ahead and test some examples. So to test an example, the default one they have, just go to just CD examples ls. You can see there's a simple test pi. Um, I believe right for this current script is set up to test one servo. So we can go ahead and do that. So to run that, we just do Python simple test of py but before we do that let me switch back to um, my work desk and then we'll make sure that the power is hooked up to the PWM board okay now that everything is configured uh, before we run that that test script we want to just make sure of a couple things so I have my pipe hooked up to power on the wall uh, in the wall and we got to hook up this uh, auxiliary power to the PWM board so if you have your 9 volt supply now is a good time to either screw it in or if you have a jack like like I do just plug it in like so right here so you, you, could, you probably saw that jump a little bit um, that's alright so I'm gonna run the example script provided it's only gonna control this this one servo so um, make sure you're in the C, uh, examples folder in the Adafruit library and then just do Python simple test and hit enter and we should see this like spin from like 180 degrees so from the left to the right and just max out so here we go let's go ahead and test it so that's a good sign 
and then just stop it from running, just hit control C and that should stop it from running. But yeah, that's pretty much it. That's that's all, um, now we know that it's working. Let's go back to the terminal and try and get this second servo to configured. Um, so yeah. Okay guys, so now that we verify the single servo is working, we wanna add multiple additional servos. So I'm gonna show you how to do that real quick using their example. So right down here in the bottom, we can see that uh, the pwm.setpwm address 0 comma 0 servo min servo max so this address space is just referencing that zero position on the pwm board so we need to move over one uh, to control the next servo so essentially what we're going to do here is essentially copy this real quick change this value to 1 and also we can see how this event loop or is essentially running so it's just looping through and going moving the servo position all the way to the left side which is servo min up here and this these correlate to these values here which I'm not really sure about but you can actually set the the degrees of rotation here so if you wanted to add for example servo mid equals let's say three let's say 350 in this case right is that right um, we can just set that here And yeah, so just go ahead and save that. I'm gonna go ahead and save it, and we can go see what the results are. Okay, now that we've edited the code, we should see both of these servos spinning now. And I also made a minor change to the the degrees of rotation for the second servo, so we should see modified behavior for that. So let's go go ahead and run the script real quick. Yeah, sorry about that. I kind of had a typo. I put a dash instead of equal sign, but you know, now it should work. So let's go ahead and run it real quick. So as you can see, um, it's controlling both now, and this second servo isn't spinning as far. Uh, I believe the values we changed aren't actually a representation of degrees, but pulse length, so the amount of time um, it sends for it to move or rotate. But yeah, that's essentially a quick rundown on how to get the servos hooked up and in easily interface with them using the Adafruit library. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching guys. If you like the channel, leave a comment, like and subscribe and peace.